I grew up knowing very little about sex. In a very conservative Mormon household, I was taught that sex was between a man and a woman, and only after they were married, that pornography was bad, and that abstinence until marriage was the only option. I knew nothing about consent, sexually transmitted diseases, safe sex, or sexual assault, and I especially knew nothing about homosexual sex. Sex education was left to religious leaders. When I was 12, I was asked by a bishop if I obeyed the law of chastity. I said I didn't know what that was. Well, do you masturbate, he asked. What is that, I asked. And so he explained it to me, giving me something to try out later, something I knew that I was to be ashamed about, even though curiosity and masturbation are natural tendencies among teenagers. When I was 15, a man at church taught the teenage boys that girls were tempting, but we must resist our desires. Meanwhile, my younger sister, who was also gay, was shown two pieces of gum, one chewed and one not chewed, and told that boys would only want the one that hadn't been violated. In many cases, schools teach some sex education to adolescents, teaching them the risk of spreading disease without proper protections, and the risks of unwanted pregnancy. But most programs emphasize abstinence, and many involve shaming messages that choices to have heterosexual sex are bad choices, with no mention at all about same-sex relationships. One public service announcement shown in schools in the 1950s in California equated homosexuality with child molestation, creating public panics and shaming anyone who might be watching that was gay. In sex education, proper information needs to be available about consent, the risks of STDs, and safe sex practices, especially condom use for men. Straight and gay adolescents should be taught about more than just vaginal sex, but also oral and anal, and the risks associated with all three. And all should be taught about pregnancy. There should also be open discussions about emotions, communication between partners, and self-esteem. Emphasizing only abstinence and not teaching safe sex practices leads to more spreading of STDs and higher rates of teen pregnancies, and having no discussion about same-sex relationships leads to ongoing emotional and communication issues among gay men and lesbians. Multiple research studies have been conducted that back up these facts. Straight and gay teens and adults need all the information so that they can make informed decisions and no one should ever be shamed for having human sexual desires.